Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use Teleport to upload and download files using TSH SCP. TSH is our command line tool, and you use this on your uh, workstation. In my case, I've already logged into a server. I have my demo environment here, and I have a few hosts. I'm going to be accessing this host here. So let me SSH into it. And you can see this is a temp directory in here, but nothing else. So let me exit. So now I'm back in my local environment. I'm going to use TSH SCP. SCP is the same command as standard SCP, but it, TSH SCP makes it easier. We actually have some customers will alias SCP to use TSH SCP. I'm going to log in, which is going to pick my Linux user, which is um, EC2 user in my case. I'm going to pick the file which is going to be called debug tool, which I have um, locally in this SCP directory. And then lastly, I am going to connect to this user again at the host that we just connected to. And it's going to pick the wrong file directory. I couldn't write to this directory, but um, removing that with a comma, I've now uploaded. So now if I go back and SSH in, you can see that we have the debug tool. The next thing I'm going to show you is, uh, let me actually log in. Oh, we're in this host again. So I'm going to just uh, create a file here called um, debug log. And you can see I have also another debug log locally, but I'm going to remove it. Now we're going to use TSH SCP to download this file. So we do the same thing again. It's the same command, but a little different. So TSH SCP login EC2 user. Now we just pick the IP address of our host. And the file is called um, debug log. And then we're going to save it locally as a local debug log. And you can see now we have the local debug log saved. This brings me to the end of using TSHSCP. For people who may not want to be using the command line, we have the same capabilities in Teleport itself. Um, you can use our web UI. You can see here, this is the host I've been on to upload and um, download files. Another benefit, because of, this is all gone through Teleport, is everything has been audited. And you can see that we have SCP uploads and um, downloads recorded as be very useful information. So that brings me to the end as bit the introduction on using Teleport with SCP. I'd recommend checking out our user manual. We have um, a few other commands, such as uploading a whole file directory using recursive. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in our Slack community or our GitHub discussions.